Hello, welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. I'm Bunchor the Bard. Isaac Lore. And we are playing Tales of Berseria. Isaac swears it's an amazing game, and we have sated his bloodlust with the fight mans. So, we're going <laughs> to give it a shot. We're off to a very anime start. I haven't played a Tales game in a while. They have always had magnificent cutscenes, though. That's true. Um, I was commenting earlier that... Uh, I think her name is Velvet. Uh, her fighting style with the like big demon hand very much reminds me of uh, d Graham uh, for those like who watch the anime. I like boot knives. The boot knives are weird. What, is she pulling a bayonet over there? Yeah. Yep. She's got an arm sword, a demon arm, and two boots that knives. So I just noticed that Do her leg straps turn into her special moves? Uh, <laughs> so, I just noticed that that, out, yeah. that boat looks like it has a sword on the front prow, like just below the coastline. The bomb LTI. Are, are we going to have ship-to-ship combat where it rams something in half? Man, those guys look like the those guys look like the good guys, which means they definitely aren't. <laughs> that, that's true of a lot of times. I will let I will let everyone watching know. If you're hoping for good guys, they never come. <laughs> this is a game about bad guys fighting bad guys, who ends up being slightly less bad than the other bad guys. How very remember, rigid. remember, lawful evil gets stuff done. That's true. Yeah, too bad we're we're, <clears throat> we're not lawful evil. Well, no, those are the bad guys. Yeah. That's, that's why we have to stop them, is they're actually going to make good on their aims, because they're motivated. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're just going to throw everything into disarray and not do any of our objectives. That's yeah. kind of how it goes. <laughs> oh, so you've played this game before. I have watched it been played. Uh, I walked in on it a couple of days ago, and it looked nice, and I mean, I've liked the Tales games in general. Uh... So it seemed like a good one for the channel. Good, sir. Can you lean forward just a little bit? Ah, nope. It's stuck. Sean, you are unfortunately up a creek without a paddle, kitty kitty. Oh, uh, stuck, Sean's stuck. cat toy is stuck under the chair permanently oh, forever. Oh, is that what's going on there? Yeah, yeah. He's not just mauling your back because There's you're not paying attention to him. for people who lock other people's chairs back. <laughs> Decent game to you by us. It's probably noticed oh. it. Whoa! Did you um, just break it? No idea. <sighs> this is why you, why you don't invite you for things that aren't fighting games. You break all of our stuff. <laughs> well, what can you do? Quit downright fearsome things over there. <laughs> wow, <clears throat> that looks double plus on good. Maybe maybe we just need to hand him the controller, the the, the fight game controller. You can sit there and mash on that instead. Calm them down a bit. It's like giving a toddler building blocks to play with. I prefer wooden dinosaurs, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, is this going to be tragic backstory? Yeah. That looks suspiciously like the guy you stabbed uh, in the <clears throat> intro. He yeah. does look like Mr. Bad Guy Pants, yeah. I have no idea. Oh, you hide no, here, Velvet! That's the gal, and oh boy. His name's Arthur. Mm, of course it is. <laughs> Remember, those are better be magic apples that save me from demons. Remember, an apple a day keeps the demon onslaught away. Oh, I wish that was true. Oh no! <clears throat> I bet a lot of people wish that was true in this world. <clears throat> Once, yes. just now. Yes, you have. I get the feeling a lot of times he figures it's for their own good as children's. <clears throat> Don't give in to fear. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. And suffering leads to the dark side. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I was quoting the, the lesser trilogy, but yeah, I mean, it's still true. I think that was episode one? Probably. Probably. The Phantom Manus. Welcome back to part one of Tales of Berseria, the Let's Watch. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is really more of a reaction video to the Tales anime. We might get to the actual gameplay in two or three episodes. You know how that is. 
Uh, on the other hand, I've always really liked that the Tales games have had a, a good visual feel to them. Um, especially on the older consoles where they really couldn't pull this off graphically throughout the whole game. You know, yeah. when everyone was just a sort of disorganized mass of polygons during the gameplay. These scenes really tied together the visual aesthetic. You knew what it was supposed to look like. Hey, look. Werewolf. <laughs> Werewolf. This is apparently I think it's... the 16th title in the main line of Tales games. Wow. <laughs> and people make fun of uh, Final Fantasy for having a lot of games. But, uh... But yeah, with the older games, the anime cutscenes really were what gave you the visual... <laughs> if the technology was there. Um, and I've got to find a copy of Tales of Destiny at some point. To think about this far into the game, I'd already fallen off of airship and taken a poop. <laughs> <clears throat> well, it looks like we might be getting to some gameplay, because everything's 3D now. Oh, yeah. This isn't cutscene graphics. Demon hand. Um, no, no. You know what would be cool? If I were doing any of this. So, uh... Yeah, yeah, it still hasn't... I may have just accidentally stumbled across the list of every Tales in the main Tales series and the year they were released. Mm. When's the first one? The first one was Tales of Fantasia in 1995. Got that for the Game Boy. Yeah. You even eat through the hand. Yeah, that's very D. Gray, man. Oh, um, nom, 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 nom. I'm sure that doesn't... Uh... <clears throat> Only, two Only two things matter to me. And I have played 15 of the 16. And revenge upon one man. Wow, okay. Yeah. My name is Grimdark. You guys Dark that blood. Because it never gets better. <laughs> Grimdark Bloodstone. <laughs> Her name is Velvet Crow. That's much better. I'm not even joking. I never even knew her like last name. That's... Yeah, her last name is Velvet Crow. Oh, I think if you no. name your kid something like that in the Tales universe, you know something bad is going to happen to them. Well, she can't pick her last name. <laughs> I'm just saying. like, It's certainly a protagonist's last name. Though. It, it mm -hmm. is. Can I at least read a book? Their family crest their family is just a like picture of you. <laughs> It's like, how come, how come our family crest is just a picture of me? And it's like, oh, well, we're a family of protagonists. We just look this way. <laughs> uh, from 1995 to 2011, Tails had its own development studio. Well, I mean, they would have to. They're basically using the Pixar method of always having like a game done and a game in production, and then a team talking about what the game after that's going to be, it seems like. And then from 2012 till now, we got rolled into Bandai Namco Studios. I did know that they were involved now, but I wasn't sure when that happened. I'm sorry, Velvet. No, and there's been a Tales game on basically every console. Wait a minute. Ever Are we Don't I want to stab that guy? You I think, do. I think we're not yet. I think we're not at that point yet. You also don't seem to have a demon hand. You seem did way I? more chill. Was there... <clears throat> Was it the intro, and then a flash forward, and then a flash back? Yeah. I think so. I've got a little bit of whiplash oh, from it, but I think that's what boy. just happened. We're in for a ride. <laughs> so, so I want, if we I want to read this want... list of consoles that these Can games I... have been on, because it's mighty impressive. I, I want to ask you a quick question, though, as, as someone who's played the game. If I wanted to draw out a timeline of, of the game, is it going to look like a straightforward line, or is it going to be like one of those crazy people yarn maps when we're done? Crazy uh, people yarn map. No, actually, the game... Because we had a flashback, a flash forward, and then some kind of flash adjacent this, back. This is where the game starts, <laughs> mm -hmm. and everything past here just happens in as it unfolds. Okay. So it's a straight line from here. Okay. I seem to remember where, like, there was an entire stage of, like, flashbacks, though. Like, yeah. later. Yeah. I take it that's not, like, how the whole game unfolds, though? No. Okay, good. And it's I not was... really even a level of flashbacks. It's more, like, illusions and whatnot. Memories and shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Read off your... 
All right. Console list. So they've list. been on Android, iOS, Microsoft Windows, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, GameCube, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation <laughs> Portable, PlayStation Vita, Mobile Phone, Nintendo DS, Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo Switch, Super Famicom, Web Browser, Wii, and 360. Wow. So they're missing Xbox and Xbox One, and they've gotten basically everything. And to be fair... Uh, it's, a, it's a Japanese company making these games. They probably don't think they missed with those consoles. Nah. Uh, Microsoft has yet to make real serious inroads. Okay, it, uh, so what overseas. have we buried under the leaves? It, uh, <laughs> it premiered on the Super Famicom. Yeah, I mean, 1995, I believe it. That's that's in the, the heyday of the I need the, to find a copy Super. of Tales of Destiny for the PlayStation. Is that the is that the good one? That's the one I started with. Ah. Uh-huh. Wow, that is some antique box art right there. Mm-hmm. Very vintage. Oh, that is but still pretty. Oh yeah, no, it looks great, but it's it's definitely from a different era. Uh, what I liked about it, and the reason I showed it to everyone, is that you can still see the the aesthetic thread. From Fantasia all the way to Berseria. Oh, sure. The art style hasn't changed a whole lot. It's gotten um, better with the times, but... The outfits have gotten a little skimpier on, on some of their characters. Yeah. Well, everything's gotten a tad more anime, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, that was anime back then. This is anime now. That's really all it comes down to. Is... Well, it really depends on the game, too. Because mm. uh, I remember Tales of Vesperia, for instance... Didn't have any of that. Mm-hmm. Tales of Zillia, I don't think, had any either. Weren't you saying this is some kind of weird same universe as... It is a distant prequel to Tales of Hysteria, which is the one that came out before it. Yeah. Distant prequel that comes out afterwards. It's very good. Mm-hmm. Well, if they called it Tales of Pre-Sequel, then... Well, sure. <coughs> Um, I think Gearbox kind of sued. <laughs> so is it going to be talking out of the controller the entire game? Is that? It didn't for me. Mm-hmm. That might be a setting. Yeah. I do find it interesting when they do that. Um, it does only seem to be Velvet's voice that's coming out of your controller, so... Hooray! It's it's all of her internal monologuing. So I take it, this is the shop? Yep. All right, all that early game stuff. So you always had a weird sword gauntlet. That was yeah, never a... Yeah, and whatever happened to hilts? Hilts aren't anime enough. Broker has hilts. Roker has more swords than one human has room for. Oh, is he like the, the Zolo of this game? Does okay. he have one in his teeth and one around, under each elbow? Well, and he knee? uses two, but he carries one on his back, too. Uh, that's not too bad. I got three gels, it should be alright. Yeah, you're hunting prequel boars, you'll be fine. Oh, we're hunting boars in the woods! Yeah. yeah it's very wow. Well. At least they're not rats. That's true, they're not rats in a basement. Yep. We're not doing the Baldur's Gate intro, thankfully. Dude, the first hour of every D&D game is just, just awful, isn't it? <laughs> you really gotta start at level 3, just yeah. to fight anything interesting. And that's... I was talking about, like, the, the old computer games, Baldur's Gate, <laughs> the Temple of Elemental Evil. <laughs> oh, that that's game was... Hacks! Yeah. But, I mean, that's true of... The actual role-playing game, if you look at what you can handle at level one, it's a pretty sparse offering. Hey, Stiff don't reasons. think I can't see you, map. <laughs> you can't go there. You don't have the run-over small incline boots. Man. I mean, it is a gently rolling stream. Cutscene. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how to get up that. I, I need the cutscene bracers. I'm beating this game. I still don't know how to get up that. <laughs> the cutscene bracers. Well, it's probably the uh, New Game Plus. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. New Game Plus. Okay. And 
Kind of okay. looks like a capybara. Uh, isn't that one for most people? Nope. <gasps> Maybe... Maybe it's just the name for your spirit gauge. Although, given her later proclivities, maybe not. <laughs> but no, they, they totally look like capybaras. Well, the system is based off, like, dueling soul gauges. Mm -hmm. So, if you, like, uh, stun or exploit a weakness of an enemy, they will lose one of their soul bars and it'll go on the field and then go pick it up. Oh. Uh, for somebody who at least allegedly had a sword, you did a lot of kicking. Yeah. yeah. She uses a full body combat style. Apparently that's how it's done though. So she agrees. Yeah. Yeah. Weather's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our prickle boar meat now. Lofty and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them. So they're not domesticated then. Domestication's hard. Pigs. Everything's just so unruly. Prickle boars. Mm. Sure. What's that? Why not? What about pickle boar? Yeah, pickle boar. Who are you? Talking to herself. She's talking to herself. The audience. Boy. Well, just uh, get used to that. Well, that's how you do it. That's how I do what? That's how you get to uh, uh, the thing. I have to jump down the thing, but it won't let me. <laughs> now you get a you get a hover skateboard later. Can I preemptively attack? Nay, sir. That's unfortunate. So, it's not one of those things where if you hit them from behind, you get advantage, and if they catch you from behind, they get advantage? Honestly, I kind of try. Uh, so if it is like that, it's not important enough to, to bother with, is what you're saying? Pretty much. Okay. Man, I forgot how tutorially the tutorials are. Like, I was like, oh man, we're going to start from the ground up and start with the very beginning of the game. So are you going to... But, there we go. uh... It's not really throwing us a lot to work with here. We are just sort of watching you punch fours. It is, it is very important that you know how to dodge and how combos work. Oh yeah, I'm not suggesting we skip this. I'm just suggesting that... Because the game is kind of unforgiving at times. Yeah, no, I remember watching, like, what little late game I watched, and, uh... It definitely looked very punishing. Wow. That's also, half of that's also because I was like, what was I at the end? 13 levels under? Yeah. No, 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 no. Way more than that, because remember he was like level 60? No. At one point? He was level 65. Yeah. And I was like 54. Oh, were you? I never hey, paid attention. Yeah, yeah, you were like 13 levels under. A random chest under. nobody had. And well, I it clearly belonged beat to the him pickle via wars. attrition. Mm hmm. He could not oh, kill that, me that? faster than that's I could throw items. I'm in the... That's save point. Ah. Because that's how JRPGs roll in this year of 2017. Still. Is there at least an overworld map that you can save on? Because, I mean, Final Fantasy VII let me do that, at least. I mean, there are save points in the overworld. And so it's all save points. Okay. Uh, well, you can... You can press options at any point and then quick save. Oh, okay. And I'm not sure how that's different than normal saving, but I know that it is. Hmm. Probably based on where it stores the data and, like, what it automatically loads. Or, like, you could probably only have one quick save at a time. Whereas, we could probably save some if we wanted to. Uh, yeah. Then I show off my things. cool sword I don't use. Yeah, next, next time I'll use this! She uses it when she uses her hidden arts. But you don't have any yet, because you were scrubbed here. You literally have to learn how to sword. Right now, theoretically, Velvet doesn't even know that gauntlet has a sword in it. Uh, it just pops out of my wrist every time I pose after I kick something to death. I have no idea what's going on. She, Somebody help me. She's been trying to pose in the direction of boars for like 
two years, but she hasn't figured it, figured it out. She hasn't figured it figured out. Figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> They're pickle boars. Um. Yes, yes, there's a quest objective, but there's also cool treasure. Uh, cool might be. There's also treasure. Alright, uh, there you go. Cool for a starting character. Those those bronze bangles and like low tier materials aren't gonna have to avoid sell medicine themselves. for that child that's not going to die. Wait, oh. who's gonna die? No. Everyone. Everyone Probably. Is going or no to one. Die. I don't know. I don't remember. I mean we already had tragic backstory, but apparently it's not enough. Oh no. Oh no no. I think we have to play through part Buckle of up. We have to play through part of the tragic backstory right now because we're still in backstory times. Like, I don't think that werewolf pit fight happened yet. I don't know. Or it was some psychological doohickey. Maybe. I think it was there to, to give us the promise that this is going to get better. It is definitely maybe Not. one of those. It's like, it's like, oh man, we better show them that there's more to this game than punching boars. Like, right now, or else they may not make it. Anyone who clicked to watch Tales of Basaria knows what's up with Tales games. I I mean, at least with Tales of Symphonia, it led you on the super fun adventure for like 20 hours before tearing your soul out. Oh, you mean the part where you're, my favorite character, like, betrays you? Yeah, yeah, that one. And then you get another character who becomes your favorite character, and then he betrays you? Mm-hmm. And you find out the entire thing you've been doing has been killing one of the main characters and has been actively making the world worse. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. How long in the symphony did happy... you get? How long in the symphony did you get before you realized you were basically playing Final Fantasy X again? I've never played Final Fantasy X. Oh, well, you're basically playing Final <laughs> Fantasy X. Okay, <laughs> it has almost the same plot. Well, it has the same premise. Halfway through the game, their plots diverge. Pig pun. Okay, yeah, now can I jump down the thing, or do I gotta run all the way around? You gotta run all the Dang way it. around. Don't have time for you. Don't be on the level. But that's okay. We could probably make it 20, 30 levels under with four controllers happening. Oh. <laughs> so, I guess there is a multiplayer mode to this where different characters can be controlled by people. That's why we have as many people here as we do. You don't use a sword. But, uh, I guess it takes a bit to get to that part. Uh, one of us has to make it through the tutorial first. And so here we are. Uh, well... Yes? So... Uh, what are we trying to learn right now? Well, right now, he has to equip Searing Edge and use it in a combo. There we oh go. Oh boy, that looks all sorts of complicated. Uh, well, they chain into each other, so you can like press oh, triangle to use uh, tearing thorn, and then square to go into gouging spin, and then circle to go into harsh rebuttal, and then triangle to go into searing edge. Okay, so wait, I've got six moves. Yeah, but I'm only equipping five. What am I missing? Tearing, gouging, heart rising, tearing, gouging, rising harsh moon. rising. I'm not using slicing foot. Oh, that's okay. Just, that's fine. You sure? I beat this entire game, and I think my slicing foot has a usage of 17. <laughs> <laughs> slicing foot is literally just a kick. Like, oh. basic everyday sidekick. Right, I saw some flames in there. That was cool. Hey, Steering Edge actually uses the sword. Yeah, we have gotten to the point bird. in the game where she posed enough. She posed enough, and she's like, "Oh, if I pose like this, the blade comes out." This is the best combo. 
I'm fighting beasts. Beasts are weak to fire. Well, each of the attacks have an affinity against different creatures. Oh, types it's Ganon! And elements. Look out! Hey, jump Ganon. Well, I mean, you know, he usually starts out as, like, primal Ganon or whatever. Your emotions run too hot. That will be a downfall. Wait, wait, wait. Demons are summoned by emotions, and this is a planet with humans on it. Well, we be boned. <laughs> Welcome to the narrative! I was gonna say, I think you may have just described the narrative of the entire game. If I had to take well, a guess. Back of the Box describes it as... Never let your guard down. A narrative where you confront a world where emotions clash, clash with reason. So oh, man. That's, that's every world. It's uh, it's fantasy equilibrium. Oh, God. Don't commit sense offense. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good analogy. Ooh, ooh, and it explains your fighting style. Yeah, it does. I came out here to let you know. You you totally know that like weird gun con of martial art. One more thing. Except you know there aren't any guns that I've seen t to date. Velvet Crow, a rage-filled woman who has had everything taken from her, fled her kingdom and now knows order. To deliverance. Oh, Ooh, deliverance. <laughs> yeah, so let's learn me some exorcisms. Little do we know, Arthur's last name is like Wayne Bob. Arthur Wayne Bob. This will not be the last deliverance joke in this playthrough. Probably not. Guarantee it. Oh no. Not the Gator voice. Oh yes. <laughs> All right. Exorcists. This is the part where he tells her that she's scrubbed here and she can't be an exorcist. She can't be? Yep. Never ever? Nope. Alright. You gotta you gotta be born with the innate talent. Mm. Pretty sure if you stab a demon enough it'll leave on its own accord. <laughs> Just a thought. You might be onto something there. Because it'd be like, I don't want to get stabbed anymore, so I'm gonna leave. No, it's more like, I don't want to be stabbed anymore, so I'm going to tear that person apart. <laughs> well, that's why you have to get better at stabbing, so that's a... Yeah, but you can't hurt a demon unless you're an exorcist, for so? reasons that they have yet to explain. Oh, boy. Where's your cold iron and silver-edged weapons when you need them? I wonder if those prickle boars were brothers. Uh, you hunt them for food! I was going to say, you, you can't worry too much about that. Well, you're certainly rational. Did you catch that? It was rational. To eat those boars. Not emotional. Yep. That's some prime, prime rationalizing. Something humans do to not show emotion what, at all whatsoever. It's true. Yep. I'm glad that we understand how this game works. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm glad that they didn't they didn't give us that they gave us that in a nice, subtle, easy to digest manner mm. and then just ham fisted at us. Well I was gonna save before mm. the next cutscene, but fist. here we are. Hey there, I hope you don't like your dogs too much. Mm, ham fist. Don't. <laughs> do you do you love your dogs? Oh well that's a mistake. <laughs> don't love them too much, that's emotion. Attachment is bad. I will tell you that those dogs show up again. You might accidentally fuse with them. I'm so happy that you said that. Did we all just catch what happened? Yeah, I'm trying not to comment on it. What, what thing that happened? What just happened? So you remember the demon dogs? Their owner's like, there you are, lady breadwinner. If you were a boy, I'd be in love with you. Oh, yeah, and Velvet's that. like, well, it's a good thing I'm not. <laughs> It's like, dang, yo, that burn. Yep. Uh, apple gels don't cover burns. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what does? Obamacare. Obamacare covers burns, that's right. What? Is it because of the demons? Diamonds. And now we can't get the medicine anyway. Oh, man. When is it coming, then? 
I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. What you set the cost! Price yeah. fixing! Uh, what is wrong with Nick and? Does anyone think that that guy just, like, missed a spot when shaving? <laughs> that doesn't seem intentional to me. It's not a soul patch? It's totally soul patch. It means he has one, yeah. it means he has one soul. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm powering up right now. I don't know what that's gonna cost. You'll have to duel me in social combat. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Of course, for now, here, on the house. Here's some meth. We don't have any medicine. Could be that I cooked all the Sudafed to the back. You didn't but... forget, did you? You <laughs> promised to teach me how to make your special keys. It turns out this game is just reimagining a Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for Velvet to break bad. It's going to be great. I think bad's like the only thing she doesn't break. <laughs> Well, no, everyone's bad, so she breaks bad all the time. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be. Just shack up! <laughs> Come on. Seriously. Hey, <laughs> this is before they were allowed to do that. <laughs> oh, this game must have been in development before that court decision, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> they they weren't sure how American audiences would react. You know, we'd be split down the middle. Did, did the dogs get scared off by a cat? Is yep, that what happened? That's what happened. So the dogs will be a mid boss, cat will be boss. That's what I figure. We could make them pick it. Would it make more? Definitely, maybe. Then it might be. I do want to buy Lofty a nice head. Oh, don't be so. Thank you. I should go home, but first, here's quest icons. <laughs> first, let me tell you my life story. Pick out the pieces that make quest markers. Ah, oh, you drone on for ages. <laughs> it's the protagonist's house, because I live up on the top of a mountain by myself. It's true. Everyone thinks they're just so darn cool, but they live apart from everyone else. Yeah. Where does everyone cool else live in this town? I don't know, down Did there. Did you see any more houses? There were like four. Hey, those kind of assets are hard. They have to make like five more of these this month. Yeah, okay. man, they got to release another Tales game next year. <laughs> I'm going to buy it, too. I was going to say, you're laughing, but we saw it. We saw it at GameStop. They had a thing, remember, for the they next did. Tales game, didn't they? Yeah. They did. Because we commented on it, because every other Tales game uh, gets full art assets. And this is the one that will have full voice acting and cutscenes. The next one will have the, like, PlayStation 1 era, like, anime cutouts with text <laughs> underneath. Because <laughs> every other Tales game gets art assets. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. So what kind of death plague do they have? It's called the 12 Year Sickness. What's that? They get 12 years. Well, and then they get better? And then yeah. they die. Then they die. Does the medicine actually help? Uh, yeah, okay, great. We probably won't ever know. I mean, come on. I don't think this medicine is going to make true. it there. He's going to come down with an acute case of steel poisoning. <laughs> oh, looks like you have a chronic case of explosions. I hope it's not contagious. I hope the whole town doesn't come out with a whole case of explosions. Mm. You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch. And I so, looks like Lafayette is a big fan of Pirates of the Caribbean. He really likes compasses. I think it's time you learned all my favorite art. He wants to be Jack Sparrow when he grows up. It's very cute. Go on pirate adventures. Arthur's Moloch? Huh. I'm going to be king of the pirates. That's a word I have no context for. Apparently, Tails had a Japanese MMO uh, that lasted a year. Was it like Maleficent that or Maleficent right. or something? Tales of Eternia on the uh, No, no, yes. the, the, the M word, the big bad. He mentioned it with no context. No, uh, oh, oh, what's his name? 
uh, in... Sean, what's the big bad dude's name? Notorious? Name starts with an M. No, it doesn't. Melchior? It starts with an I. Uh, no. But, well, Melchior is the other exorcist which, dude. Which big bad guy? I don't know. They just mentioned one of the, the big... bad dude. Yeah, the Imperial. There we go. An Yeah. An um, an yeah. They, they mentioned it with no context. Uh, so, I kind of vaguely remember it from one of your fights, but... But Lafacet was doing some character exposition, but without context, it was just word stew. Take your medicine. No tricks. For some reason, when she says "take your medicine," I expect a beating afterwards. <laughs> and this is before she goes all rage, whatever. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh man, cooking mini game. What do I have? What do I have? Quest marker icons. So I like your adult bunk beds that are your house. Oh yeah. I think it's really cool. Uh, clearly, being the big sister, you got top bunk. Pretty sweet. There's two beds over here. Well, the other one looks like it's for storage. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff on it. Yes, it could be that you converted an inn. I mean, it kind of has an inn-style layout. Day before Scarlet Knight. This way, she's almost as good a fighter as Arthur. But I worry that she's too athletic to let... Maybe she should try oh. to be more... Oh. Camp. He just... <clears throat> Arthur's book? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his, squint his eyes right out. That's a symptom of the disease, don't you know? Oh, I'm sure. The next one is not released or announced yet. Well, it's dry. I could have sworn it was landable. announced, but okay. It's good for you. Shut up. You'll never grow up with your food, you know. I know, but just for today. Fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach. Yeah, this will be the game with full animation for the talking. And the next one will just be cut out some text. Because that's usually how it goes. Wasn't that how Tales of, uh, Tales of Zillia was? Tales of Zillia. Oh my god, are they really having me backtrack in a two-story house? <clears throat> come on. You really gotta know the layout of this house. It's very important. Your life may depend on it. You come here two, three times in this game. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. Kind of oh yeah, this whole thing burns down. I'm calling it now. I assume the town burns down, but your house is far enough removed. Your house could be fine. And you seem edgy enough that you'd live in the burned-out husk of your former town <laughs> as a constant reminder of my dark past. I love how not right you are, but how you just accidentally like quote things from later in the game. It's fantastic. I look from the balcony at the charred husk of my former life. The embers stoking the fires of rage within. Oh man, that could totally be cut dialogue. Fire, death, Who knows what the future stabbing. holds? Except me! Seven more years! <laughs> I don't know how many years old Lafacette is and how long they've had the 12-year sickness, but... Uh, I think he's 10. <clears throat> how long has he had the sickness? Yes. Oh, so you're, like, born with this thing? Yeah. Ooh. That's Ooh. why you only make it to 12. <clears throat> I well, I thought it was 12 years from when you got it. You know no, what I mean? Like, no, no. oh, I've been bitten by the whatever, you know, plot device fly there is or whatever. I think it's, like, their version of... And you're just born with the cancer? I think if you could catch it, they should produce special 12-year calendars. (laughs) 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 With, like, stickers and confetti. Wait, I thought I couldn't get the medicine. Well... No, you got some other medicine from the guy, remember? Where he was, like, on the house? So, you know, you just gave him a little bit of meth. Just a bit to rub on his teeth, just to help him sleep. Yeah. Like Pretty sure that's the opposite of what Matt does. <laughs> it's re- it's really just a shot of bourbon. <laughs> you rub it on his teeth. We're gonna learn some new words today, like adult and dosage. <laughs> of 
Is he uh, supposed to sleep with his eyes open? Nah, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> He's vibrating. Uh. Seven do we do we count the shenanigans in the house? Because I sure don't. That was an, <laughs> that was an interactive cutscene. <laughs> I mean, it could have been worse. You could have had a button that let you turn the page in a book or something. <laughs> They're like, oh, look at all of this gameplay that we included. See, we could have made this a cutscene if you read in the book. Uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Oh, man, are you going to pick up that book? Did I call it? <laughs> uh, that would be fun. <laughs> now, if I can get to the save point, you know, without another cutscene, we can if, call it an episode. Good luck. You know, if they lost all of their blood, they their, their temperature would go down. I, <laughs> I think hecking, I dang it! Village. I really need to find a save point. No. Why are you hiding a book poorly? Wow. Blacksmith, I know you can't read. This is a medieval setting. Only the clergy can read. I mean, I don't know what's in it. I can't read. No, he has a printing press in our non-existent basement. Ooh. Golden Compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. <clears throat> Told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. Meanwhile, since there's no printing press, but it would have been worth it. So, what did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Seriously, guy, he's nine. What did you sell him? Yeah. I right. basically what you do. You look at the table with four items on it, figure out which of the four items is no longer there, and then use inductive reasoning. I'm not going back to earlier. I wasn't paying attention to what was on the table. Was it the comb? You didn't buy the comb and then go into the forest like an idiot, oh, did he? Oh, there was a comb. Yeah. Oh, it's 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 going to be like a more gruesome version of the Magi's gift. You know the story where like the gal cuts her hair off and sells it to get the pocket watch chain, and the guy sells his watch to get the combs for her hair. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? The Gift of the Magi? It's well, like a Christmas story. Well, the next like, 30 minutes yeah. is going to be fantastic. Well, then, we should we should take care of the next 30 minutes next time on Endless Mode, then. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Pick flowers. Like and subscribe. Got it. Thanks, Velvet.